our next guest yes. is just a big bundle of walking love. And he also happens to be a global music superstar. His name is Maluma, and his tagline is Maluma, baby. His newest album, Don Juan, was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Latin Pop Album. You go, Maluma. The singer-songwriter is one of the best-selling Latin music stars of all time, and his world tours break attendance records. And his song, Sagoon Kien, I hope I said that right, he'll help me, hit number one on YouTube. This week, he released a new music video for his song, Bikini. Here's a clip. Te estoy imaginando en bikini bailando, tomando con amigas para olvidarte de mí. Pedí las vacaciones pa pasarlas contigo y me la estoy pasando llorando por ti. Te estoy imaginando. That is a great Maluma. You know, Maluma, I've been smitten for you for a long time. So I love seeing your success. You keep rising and rising, and now your third Grammy nomination. What does this mean to you? We're pulling for you. Wow, this mean? is a big deal. Like being nominated to the Grammy, the American Grammys with a Latin album. It's, it's a big deal for my community, you know, for my country, for my city, Medellin. I feel like it's a big thing. So we're working for that. I mean, winning the Grammy, that's my dream. Yeah. But performing at the Grammys, that's what we're looking for right yeah. now. Yeah, right? you know, and I remember when I first met you, you said, I will always sing in Spanish. I won't sing in English. And people were saying, please, for those of us who don't, please, please, please. But I also admire that you have stuck to that. Yeah, I mean, because it, it doesn't, really it doesn't mean, you are. yeah, it doesn't mean I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it, you know. Right. I, yeah, you know, like I did it before. I liked the, the the experiment. That was pretty pretty cool. But I don't feel like I was, I was letting people know what I was thinking or feeling. Right, you know what right. I mean? Because it's a different language. And in Spanish, we have like these different words. We have like five or six forms or ways to say. Love, Love, you know, right. te amo, te adoro, te aprecio, te quiero. You know, there's so many, right. so many ways to say that. That's what I prefer doing in Spanish. But still, I want to do it. It doesn't, yeah. it, it doesn't matter. Maybe, so one, maybe day, one, one day, one day, yeah. One day, one day. Now maybe one day. Um, you have uh, Paris on your uh, yes, sir chain, and it's not because Is it your I favorite love the city? city. It's not because you love the city. <laughs> um, yeah. So you, I love it, but you recently dropped some news on us that you are expecting you and your girlfriend yeah, man. are expecting <laughs> a baby girl. Yes, sir. Um, how does that make you feel? Well, that's for real the big deal, man. That's yeah. that's something crazy that is happening right now. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling honored. Um, You're feeling honored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling pretty honored with my girl too. You know, I was shout I was out to telling, Susanna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Susie. She's not here. She's at the hotel resting. Yeah. yeah you know, because the belly is growing pretty fast. We have already six months, so the yeah. baby's gonna be. Uh, in March. Are you singing to the baby and talking to the baby? Because the baby can hear you. Your daughter we'll be, can hear you. Yeah, we were on tour actually for three months here in the States. So Susanna was with me. The baby was with me the whole tour. <laughs> I so hope the baby was with you. Yeah. yeah of course. <laughs> how'd you decide on, on Paris? Yeah, and also, name? how did you decide on picking it before you meet her? Mm. Yeah, man, that was that was weird. You know that I was telling Gail that when I when I saw Susanna. For the first time, I was like 19 years old, right? But I was I was a kid. I just moved by myself, and yeah. and then I was my mind was just on my career. But then, like almost 10 years later, I saw her again, and the day I met like, her, whoa. I was uh, the day I saw her again. I was like, wow, what happened here? Like you know, I feel like we're gonna be together. Something special is is going on. You right had now. a feeling. Yeah, I had this feeling, crazy feeling. And then I told her that night. I was like, you know what? You're gonna be the mom from my. And she said, my "Bye." <laughs> and she was like, "Nah, yeah. what do you mean, man?" I was like, "Yeah, for sure." I Maluma, feel this what's the song you feeling. sing to your daughter? I love "Amor de mi vida." Let me hear. Which, which, just which give means me a bar. Yeah. Uh, "Love of my life." Uh -huh. You know, so it's a, it's a pretty pretty special song that I composed uh, two years ago. But do you have a goofy song that you made up that's just for the baby? Just that because. You'll find you, it's going to change your life in, oh, in all yeah. the best ways. But are you already singing little sing songs that just make no sense other than to you and Susie and the baby? Well, so I, I prefer talking to the baby. I okay. prefer, like the first thing I do when I woke up is going to see the belly. Hello, my love. How is Paris? I start <laughs> talking to Paris and she starts moving. She starts kicking. It's She's a, dancing. Yo, maybe or maybe a soccer player. I think. So. <laughs> well, you know a little thing about soccer. But they tell you they say your album Don Juan. You say Don Juan is is an alter ego for you. But they call this album your most dynamic yet because you mix all sorts of genres. Yeah. Uh, salsa, reggaeton. 
Do you think that it's your best album yet? Why is it so special to you? Every time I, I release an album, I feel that it's good, but when I release it, I feel that I can do better. Ah. So I'm still pretty hungry. I'm young. This next year, I'm going to turn 30. So it's, oh. I, I feel, I feel, yes. I feel like, like mature, but in a good age, you know, like yeah. pretty productive that I, I keep, I want to keep working and keep exploring different genres, you know, yes. let's see what happens. And you said that your dream was to take care of your family, like yeah. most young people. Years ago, mm -hmm. you said that, yeah. Seems like you've had success. Yeah. You're able to do that. Yes, sir. What's yes. motivating you now? Bro, Paris. That's Baby. my biggest motivation right now. Like, I don't know, but... Every, every dad's gonna say the same, but there's a switching on, on your mind, you know? Like, yeah. when I knew that I was gonna become a dad, I knew immediately that everything I'm doing right now, I'm not doing it because of, for me or, or, or my close family, it's yeah. because of Paris, you Baby. know? Oh, yeah, it changes my, the way you look at the world. Yeah. It makes you feel like a grown-up, like an adult in and a new a way. A different point of view of everything, a different per perception of everything. Yeah, of everything. So, yeah, I'm feeling like right now, I'm living in a, in a very, blessed spot, yes. you know, doing all the things that I love. You know, we are happy blessed. for you. Yeah. Hey, what is Paris's middle name? Gail. Ah! Ah! Paris Gail, I like Paris it. Paris Gail. Hey, hey, Paris Gail. Gail. I'm hey, on you. New to me. You're welcome. I'm gonna tell you, that little girl gonna talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I love but it, she's gonna be so nice. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna oh, be so amazing. nice. All right, Maluma, we are thank happy you so for you. Much. Thank oh, you guys. Good luck at the Grammys. Good luck at the Grammys is right. We're looking forward to that.